I grew up in a family business and my father was a chemical engineer and we had a lab in our basement. And so for many years, I thought everybody had a lab in their basement. In terms of becoming an inventor, it was probably inspired by a, a book written in the 1930s called Fortunes in Formulas. And uh, my dad had this uh, book on his bookshelf and I adopted it and would go into the lab and reproduce some of these fortunes and formulas. But what drives me is an insatiable desire to build something, to create something, and then to make sure it's meaningful. Fast DNA sequencing came about and I saw a picture of a computer chip and I realized everybody had been going about DNA sequencing in the wrong way. So I realized at that moment that I had to go miniature and I made the first miniature uh, DNA sequencing. For a long time, I was a serial entrepreneur and a serial I I inventor. I was having this renaissance from next-gen sequencing and engineering, and we made the best-selling ultrasound in the world. I have it here. I figured if it was a good idea to put DNA sequencing on a chip, it'd be a good idea to put ultrasound on a chip. And I find meaning when I'm either helping one of my children or doing something that's important to them whether it's my daughter Alana and my son Noah, who really care about, you know, the earth. So I focused on healing people, and now the inventions are focused on literally healing the earth. When I moved to Miami, uh, we set up uh, a lab uh, across the street. But I do spend a lot of time with my family on the boat, exploring the world. We want to make sure we see the world. We want to make sure we understand how other people live. So just like my dad had a laboratory in our basement, I now have a laboratory uh, on the Gene Chaser. And this summer, while we were exploring the world, we worked on our companies and our next inventions. So uh, I always have to have a, a lab within 30 seconds of wherever I'm sitting. So in Miami, I have that. And when I'm on the boats, I have that. And that way we can do the two things I need to do insatiable desire to build something and create something and do something that either helps somebody I love or somebody I love cares about it, like the environment. In the case of coming to Miami, I realized I had to be close to a university. I had to uh, leverage university ties. I want to take advantage of the University of Miami. So I, I create things because of somebody I love. Uh, but a few years ago, I got a call from Bill Gates people and uh, he wanted to talk. Uh, so I flew out and I had a private lunch uh, with, with Bill. And he said, you know, we could really change how children are cared for around the world with your ultrasound on a chip. Because now you have a portable ultrasound, it has artificial intelligence, so it's smart. And with the Gates Foundation, we've deployed thousands of these globally. And every day, they're not only saving somebody I love, they're saving somebody somebody else loves. It is a wonderful feeling to know that when you build something because of a need you have, it can help other people. And I would say the thing I enjoy the most is getting a letter from a physician or a parent that's saying what we did changed the life of a child. Jonathan is an engineer an inventor and an entrepreneur, which means that he can see opportunity and build his way towards it. He's doing that with the University of Miami. He sees the opportunity in our students and he's investing in them, helping them bring their ideas forward to help people that they love and make the world a better place. It is a pleasure to consider him a Miami hurricane and my congratulations to him on being inducted into the Florida Inventors Hall of Fame.